in every 1,000 women. All right, Mother's Day is on Sunday, and today we're talking about how a mom shapes her children's immune system as well as for future generations. Assistant Professor Dr. Deepshika Ramanan at Salk Institute joins us now to talk a little bit about that. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. You know, let's talk a little bit about how mothers shape their children's immune system, uh, you know, across generations. That's interesting. Yeah, so we found using a mouse model that mothers transfer antibodies in their breast milk and this can shape their offspring's immune system not just when they're babies but also when they become adults and they can do so for up to three generations and so in true mom fashion we are planning way ahead <laughs> in terms of protecting our children and our grandchildren. Give us an idea of what what that means in a practical standpoint as far as what a mom passes on how that might protect those generations. Yeah so we found that depending on what the mom's past, which antibodies, then the children were either better protected from intestinal infection or from intestinal disease like inflammatory bowel disease. You know, it's interesting. They always try to push, you know, breastfeeding, and but there are some women who just are unable to. Um, you know, let's talk about breast milk versus formula. Yeah, and thanks for bringing that up. You know, I'm a mom of two myself. I have a three year old and a four month old at home right now, and we have enough mom guilt as is. So, what we're trying to do with our research is try and understand more about protective factors in breast milk so in the future we can improve formula. So regardless or if, if your child is breastfed or formula fed, they're equally protected from both intestinal infection and intestinal disease. So what initiated this study? What made you think, okay, how, how are we affecting not only our kids genetically, maybe it's not genetic, maybe it's just through breast milk, and, and, and future generations, like what, what made you think this is what we want to look into? Yeah, and that's what's interesting. So this is not genetic. Yeah. Um, this is through breast milk. And the reason we were looking at this is because if you know in your own families even, there may be some people that, you know, if you go out to eat at a restaurant and you fall sick, one person might fall sick sooner than mm -hmm. other people. So some people have a strong gut and others don't in the same family, right? But genetically, you're all the same. Mm -hmm. So what makes one person sicker than the other person? And so we started looking at the environmental factors and that's what drove us to look at breast milk because that's one of the first foods that we have. You know, as mothers, we always are told, you know, the breast milk will help pass on immunity, makes your child healthier. What about pumping breast milk? You know, are women are still able to pass on those kinds of immunities to their children and their future generations? Yeah, so pumped milk is similar in terms of um, breastfeeding, in terms of the antibody composition. Um, and I also want to say that, you know, mothers that are giving your kids formula, keep doing what you're doing as well, you know. Um, we're working on understanding how um, formula-fed children are also protected. Um, and that's some research that's ongoing in, in our lab. Are there things that you're finding in the breast milk that can be applied in other ways, like antibodies that are that are found within that, that can, you know, be applicable to other people? Yes, absolutely. So that's our hope for the future, yeah. right? So if we can... Um, figure out exactly what these antibodies are doing, then we can potentially use that to prevent disease, intestinal disease, um, it, before children even get it, and potentially treat intestinal infection um, mm. as a therapeutic, you know, using antibodies as a therapeutic. So it, it could be like almost like an immunotherapy in some yes. sort of way. Yes, exactly. So Do you find that, that children who are breastfed have better immune systems than, than kids who are not? So we, we haven't looked at that yet mm -hmm. because, like as I mentioned, everything we were um, looking at was in a mouse model, but that's what we're hoping to do, and those are topics that can are things, ongoing in our lab. Can things be passed on that, that you wouldn't necessarily want, right. like a, uh, a susceptibility to, to a certain kind of uh, things that your immune system would otherwise protect? Yeah, so genetically we can, mm -hmm. right? But there's a lot of, you know, you just brought up breast cancer, so yeah. a lot of mutations that we have, we pass those on. Um, so the idea would be we can't change that because we're going to pass on, you know, what we're going to pass on genetically. But if we can change the environment, then that will be very useful in protecting from disease. You know, I'm so fascinated by the fact that you could even look at it as a potential therapy for even yeah. adults at some point in time. Um, it, it is it is obviously like as a as a woman as a parent we all know that we pass on those those things to our children but this like into generations to come is is just fascinating the fact that you're finding it in mice um, is that truly applicable I guess to humans yeah and that's again what we're trying to find in our lab so we're going to be looking at um, milk samples from women and children to see if this is applicable to to people but the antibodies that we found in the mice we make a lot of those antibodies um, in, in, in people so we're hoping that you know this can truly be 
something that we can use to protect our children. Before we let you go quickly, what's next for you as far as you've been looking at mice, how long you've been looking at them, and yeah. what, what happens next? Yep, so we've been looking at them for just a few years, yeah. um, about five, six years, and we're hoping to you know, continue studying some of this, these mechanisms in mice, but also um, look in people, um, looking in breast milk. And one other thing I quickly want to mention is one thing that I found during these studies is we really don't know what's happening to the mothers mm. during breastfeeding and pregnancy uh, in terms of their immune system. And that is also an active area of research that our lab is working on. Fascinating. Yeah, affects so many people too. So really uh, great that you're doing the work. Thank you so much for coming in. Doctor Ramadan, us all about thank it. you yeah. so much. Thank you for having me. All right, this is the Fox 5 News at 1. We'll be right back after this.